Hi everyone. So I wanted to talk to you today about green cleaning. Um, a couple of you have requested that I do a video on green cleaning. So this is going to be a, a short version of our full class. Okay, so green cleaning, um, what is it and why do you want to do it? So firstly, green cleaning is really cleaning in a non-toxic way. So most households contain more toxic chemicals um, in this modern era than, you know, there's more toxic chemicals inside the home than there are even outside the home. And these toxic chemicals can be found in everything, you know, even on our sofas. Um, so for us to try and alleviate and try and um, clean more naturally is um, a wonderful thing to do. So in our modern world, you know, so many kiddies have got skin issues, lung issues, so many women are suffering from infertility, from hormonal issues, from skin issues. And many of these can be aggravated by some of the chemicals that we find in the home. So some really common ones, there's one called phalates, uh, a bit like phalates, phalates. And this is often found in air fresheners, dish soap, and fragrance loo paper. Um, and these are massive hormone disruptors and can lead to issues in sperm count. And they're in some soaps and air fresheners. So there are loads more than this. Um, you can Google them and look at other chemicals. Um, but an alternative would be to diffuse your own essential oils rather than using air fresheners, rather than using like chemical infused plugins, um, even those mosquito repellents, you know, the ones that you plug in are full of really bad chemicals. You can use a diffuser. Um, I've got one here, but I've got loads of cleaning products. So I can't get it over. Diffusing really cleans the air um, and it's a really lovely natural way of, of, you know, bringing lovely fresh smells into your home. The second one, Triclosan. Triclosan, um, is an antifungal agent um, it was actually ruled as a pesticide you know like way back um, and it's a really kind of nasty um, nasty toxic chemical and it's an antifungal agent so it's antibacterial so it's often present in hand sanitizers little antibacterial hand sanitizers toothpaste mouthwash dishwashing tablets deodorants shower gels and many more um, yeah it was registered as a pesticide in 1969 but it's still used as an antibacterial and a lot of these products you know we're using on our little kitty's hands and stuff like that it's an aggressive antibacterial product um, and it can promote the growth of anti-resistant bacteria um, and it's a massive hormone disruptor and it's poisonous as well. Um, the other two that I'm going to talk about very briefly are ammonia. So in England, I don't think we use it as much in England, but in Spain they love ammonia. They use it like all the time. You walk in a building and it just like hits you. So ammonia is used to clean loos. It's also cleaned, used in a lot of glass cleaners because it doesn't leave a smear. Um, it is a powerful irritant of the skin and it's been linked to lots of lung issues, bronchitis and also asthma. Um, final ingredient, chlorine bleach. It's a serious hormone, in particular a thyroid disruptor. So, you know, any women out there that are struggling with thyroid issues, you know, um, it's also a respiratory irritant and it can also affect the skin. So these are just some of the chemicals and there are lots of tools you can use online to have a look. We we're a little bit more fortunate in Europe because the, there are more regulations than there are in the States. In the States, people are exposed to these, you know, a lot more, a lot more frequently than we are. So um, making the switch, making the switch to your own products, why would you do it? It's affordable, it's easy, it um, makes you feel really good and they really work. Um, so I'm talking today about some products that you can buy in the supermarket and how you can make your own um, cleansers really easily, okay? So all you need is vinegar. This is a white vinegar that um, that is used for cleaning. Okay, so this is the white vinegar. Um, my dog's uh, bicarbonate soda, which is also great, okay? Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the doTERRA cleaning concentrate today. Um, I use this in my cleaning products, but you don't have to. You can use, you can just use the oils, okay? So um, I'm gonna talk to you about a few little recipes. The other thing that you need is these glass jars. So this one is quite a big one. You can see it compared to my hand. And this is a 500 ml, okay? I do use smaller ones. I have a smaller one that's my yoga mat cleaner. And you just buy these on Amazon. You can hear they're glass. Um, it's worth buying a few. I tend to have one in my bathroom and then I have a different recipe in my kitchen. So I have two to just 
alternate the smell and I like the difference of smells um, and yeah I have one in my bathroom one in my kitchen and these are what I use to clean with and I also have a separate one that's a mirror and um, a yoga mat cleaner okay so Firstly, I'm just going to talk about the oils that we're going to use very briefly. Now, you can use like a lot of different oils. The citrus oils are really effective cleaners. Um, so I've got lime handy today, but lemon, wild orange, all of the citrus oils. Lemon is really good to clean off any sticky stains, antibacterial. So all of the essential oils are antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and really beneficial to your health. So something to think about is that when we talk about essential oils, we always talk about how they're absorbed in the body. And if you're cleaning your floors with chemicals and your dogs, your babies, you are padding around on that floor with your feet, the pores on the feet are bigger and there are no sebaceous glands, no sweat glands. So everything goes in very quickly. So that doesn't just apply to essential oils, that also applies to you and your body. So it's really important that what you put on your floors when your little ones are padding around is natural, okay? So lemon, the first essential oil, or lime, this is lime, or citrus. Citrus is, I always use citruses in my cleaning products, okay? Okay. Then the next oil that in this cleaning concentrate that doTERRA do, if you've got an account, you can get it. I think it's about 12 or 13 euros. It lasts for ages. I wash up with this as well. In this is a whole bottle of On Guard, a 5 ml, this is a 15 ml bottle of On Guard in this cleaning concentrate. So if you're using this, then you don't really need to use the On Guard as well. Okay, so On Guard's got clove. Um, rosemary, it's got wild orange, all oils that are really antibacterial and really good. Clove is amazing to get rid of damp and mold and it actually kills the spores, so it's a really great one. But if you're cleaning, using the concentrate, then you don't always have to use as much of it. I used to just clean with the oils, I didn't used to use the concentrate. If you don't have the concentrate, you've just got the oils and that's totally cool as well. Okay, so the next oil that I add as a must is Melaleuca antibacterial in nature, um, tea tree oil, for those of you that, that don't know. Um, and this is great to clean with. It smells quite strong, um, but it's really good to cleanse. If you've got doggies like I have, then it's a really good disinfectant. So I always tend to add this, but I do mix and match what I put in, okay? So other oils that I use, that I'm gonna talk about today, oregano, really powerful nature's antibiotic, and I'm gonna teach you something good to do with this. Um, I only really take that medicinally, so it's good to have other uses for it. Peppermint, which I love. Um, another oil that I love, which I'm gonna try and find here, I've just put it down, now I can't find it, is wild orange. I love to add this as well in my cleaning products. Um, and lavender, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit. Really nice and calming and really nice for a carpet spritz that I'm gonna to talk to you about. Okay, so firstly, all purpose cleaner. Now. When we're talking about green cleaning, I'm not saying that you go through your cupboards and you throw everything away. So it might be that you just start with one thing and that you just start with this all-purpose cleaner and then you just, as things run out, you know, you just start exploring. There are lots and lots of videos. Um, if you check out Ange Peters on YouTube, she's got like green cleaning for every room in the house. Really, really detailed um, information about green cleaning. Definitely worth checking her out. Okay, so your all-purpose cleaner. We're gonna use a couple of tablespoons, and it tells you the measurements on here as well. Um, if you're using a smaller bottle, it's one. So two tablespoons of the all-purpose cleaner, okay? And then depending on how much vinegar you like, probably top it up to about there with vinegar, you know, maybe like four tablespoons of the vinegar, okay? And then we're gonna use our essential oil. So this is a 500 ml. So I use about 30 drops of essential oil. So in this one, I'm gonna, one of my favorite blends is wild orange, 10 drops. Um, peppermint, 10 drops. I love this one. Um, and then Melaleuca, 10 drops, okay? And then I put those in and then I fill it up with either a distilled water or, you know, if you've got filtered water, water that you would drink, then fill it all the way up to the top, give it a little shake. So you've got your vinegar, your on guard solution and your oils, and then you're good to go, okay? And it doesn't smell like it's nice. You can put it on your skin, it's fine. If it smells a bit vinegary, then you can just put in a bit more peppermint because that tends to cut through, okay? Another recipe, traditional recipe that we use a lot is 10 on guard, 10 lemon and 10 melaleuca. Okay, so that's a pretty classic recipe with some vinegar. But I just like the solution because it gives an extra hit. Now, if you're using this cleaner for the mirrors, then you want to leave this out. So you just really want the oils and the vinegar, okay? Um, and you can use that to clean your yoga mat. Really good to clean your yoga mat. I 
dogs that are barking. Um, the one without the, the concentrate. The concentrate goes a bit foamy, so it's not so good for the windows and it's not so good for the yoga mats, a little bit foamy. Um, so just leave that out, okay? So that's your all-purpose cleaner. Okay, another really cool thing that you can do is you can make a bathroom paste. So this is my paste in here, you can see. And this is really simply coconut oil, coconut oil, bicarbonate of soda, and then you can either use clove, on guard, or oregano. So if you have like little damp bits in your bathroom, then you could put a bit of melaleuca in there as well. But I mix and match, and I might put a bit of peppermint, a bit of melaleuca, I kind of play around with the oils. But oregano and on guard are really good if you do have like damp in your bathroom. And one thing to know about essential oils is as well, when you use chemicals and you just spray, clean and go. With the essential oils, you wanna spray, leave it for a minute, and then go back to it. So for example, I'll do my bathrooms, I'll do all the, the scrub, then I'll go and like spritz all my bathrooms with the all-purpose spray, then I might put some extra lemon on my hob top, I go round, and then I'll go back to my bathroom and go back to the bathroom. So it's kind of like a different way of cleaning. You wanna leave the oils on so that they really, really eat in to the grease or anything and really, um, really clean. So you just wanna leave them on for a few minutes, go around your house and then go back. And they clean so well. Um, the other thing that I do as well is with my bottles, to save me having to think about what I'm gonna clean the floor with, I just open up and then I just pour a load of that into my mop bucket, put some boiling water, and then I've got my cleaner for the floor as well. So I don't have to keep thinking how much all purpose cleaner, how much oils, like I used to just do like, put drops in but now I don't want to think about that so I just open up my thing pour some in um, and then just put the hot water on top of that and clean my floors with it and it just makes it really simple and really easy you don't have to think about dilutions and stuff like that okay the other thing that I do is these little squeegee things I'm going to show you oh this one's gone a bit ooh, squeezy <laughs> they normally come out foamy um these little foam dispensers doTERRA cell um and I don't really want to use washing up liquid anymore so I use the on guard concentrate now what I do is I fill up to about there with the concentrate and then I put some lemon essential oil in and then I just fill it up again with distilled water and just use this on my dishes so just pump it, it comes out foamy and again you only use a really small amount of this and this is not chemical so if your partner's a bit like mine or you and you don't rinse your plates then it's not like you're getting loads of harmful chemicals in your body because you're getting like on guard and natural stuff and stuff that's not going to hurt you um and that's in this concentrate which i i do feel it just packs a punch you know i've got three dogs so i do need a little bit more to pack a little bit more of a punch than just the oils but the oils do clean really fabulously just on their own okay so another recipe um that i'm going to share with you today is to create a little spray. So you can create a little spray, room spray, uh, maybe a little pillar spray with some lavender and some frankincense, mix it with some water, give it a shake, and then just spray your room, you know, and in your toilet, if someone goes to the toilet and you wanna have a little spray and you haven't got a diffuser, make your little spray, you can buy some little bottles, and then just spritz around and just clean the air with that. And you can have it on you if you wanna have a nice little spray. Um, that's another really good way to make your own little air freshener, which is not toxic. Other thing you can do, Get a little spray bottle, mix some melaleuca, some lemon, a little bit of on guard, or just melaleuca and lemon if you're working with kiddies. Um, the on guard is quite strong. And then you just spritz it on their hands. So rather than using a toxic gel, you're just spraying it on your hands when you go just to protect yourself and as your antibacterial spray. Um, final thing, which is really cool. Um, so this was my little bathroom, bathroom paste. The other thing is to make your own shaken vac. Okay, so you get a jar like this, you put some holes in it, you fill it up with bicarbonate of soda, this format or a different format. You fill it up and then you put your favorite oils in that. So maybe like 10 drops of lavender, 10 drops of peppermint. Again, I love wild orange peppermint. And then you just spray it, put it on your carpet. Put it on your carpet, leave it for a few hours, even overnight, and then hoover it off in the morning. So it's like you've created your own essential oil shake and vac, which is so cool. And it makes your house smell of essential oils. Um, so yeah, I think that was all I wanted to share with you, you know, I could go on and on and you could really play around with the oils. Um, there are lots of oils that doTERRA do that are amazing to clean with. Um, but I just wanted to share this with you. It's really important for our health that we make these switches. Start with an all-purpose cleaner, do some research, start watching the videos and then just start learning. You know, if you set up a doTERRA account, you get 25% off your oils. You can set up an account for 24 euros order a kit or order individual oils and start this journey today. So I just wanted to share this with you today. Thank you so much for your time.